All right. So yesterday I was out prospecting with Steve. We came across a couple of spots and we found a fault line. And within that fault line, I started finding contact zone material. And I found two or three pieces of material like this that it, that actually looks like an old dye pair. Where, and the dye pair is where the oceanic plate goes under the continental plate. And then it creates this extremely heat area. And it's superheated materials with all of the acids and the fluids and everything else. And it rises up. And as it rises up, it gets to a certain point And then it dehydrates. And when it dehydrates, it finds every little crack that there is. And it moves the material out through it. And this area, given that the type of fault line that this is, uh, I think that we could have a diapair event that was here. It's all hydrothermal type event. And this area is known for a lot of those types of events because it's, it's in the middle of a lot of different fault lines. So looking at this piece, I really want to get it crushed up. Not necessarily, I'm not necessarily looking for the idea that there's gold in it, but what I'm looking for is the other mineralization. Gold would be a bonus, but what this rock, especially in this contact zone, the, what this rock can tell us at this contact zone could lead to a good discovery of just following that material out. I like this. I worked with Kevin to crush the rock samples. This rock crusher is a crazy crusher too and it attaches directly to the hitch of my truck. You know, a lot of people feel that you have to go out and spend a lot of money for a big rock crusher. When you're investing in sampling, something like this is absolutely perfect. You can adjust the size of yourself, you can run it two or three different times. No need in getting out and getting a great big huge rock crusher. I think we'll probably make a couple of passes on this one. Yep. Yep. But what I do like about this type of crusher, and I've got one that I have set up the same way, it's a little bit smaller, but as you're crushing it down and you're doing it in different stages, you get to look at each stage, and each stage will tell you a little bit of a story. Because cleavage tells you a lot. <laughs> Second cast on that? Yeah. Yeah. So you can keep going finer and finer if you want. Yeah. And then get really down. So we'll go take that and we'll pan out and see what we get. That breaks out and then also some of the crystalline material that's in there. What? What's it smell like? Smelling for sulfides. Uh. So if there's any sulfur smell in it whatsoever, which there's not, you'd have a sulfided ore. And which definitely means it was volcanic. Kevin noticed right away tons of mineralization inside the crushed material, even finding some specks of gold. Crushing rocks is another tool that prospectors can use to determine if there's gold in the vicinity. Follow us for more gold finding adventures.